will take up my challenge. I, Sir Pelinor, take up the challenge. So be it. to his wounds. He took a hit. Why well, didn't land a blow? I saw it. The sword definitely pierced him. Are you sure? My eyes are quicker than yours. He should be dead. Perhaps he already is. Why did you stop me? We have to give our knights the chance to prove themselves. So. See how this stranger fights. And Sir Pelinor is more than a match for him. He's not recovered from the wounds he suffered at Athandon. I can't help that. So you send him to his death? It was his choice to take up the gauntlet. I'm not to blame. You sure we should be doing this? You're not scared, are you? No. I'm old Chris. I wouldn't be seen dead anywhere else. Must have been a gust of wind. We should have brought a torch. The Ark border. Huh? Handy. Yes. What are we looking for? Bring your torch over here. We're breaking into someone's grave. We're too late. I think someone's already broken out. Tristan Dubois was the brother of Egrin, Uther's wife. Arthur's mother. Egrin died in childbirth. He blamed Uther and came to the gates of Camelot and challenged him. Through single combat. Uther won. But in his dying breath, Tristan cursed Camelot to one day suffer his return. I thought it was the ramblings of a dying man. Then they just rise up from the dead, though, no matter how angry they are. It's my guess we're dealing with a wraith. A wraith? The spirit of a dead man conjured from the grave. So this is the work of a sorcerer? Powerful magic can harness the grief and rage of a tormented soul and make it live again. How do we stop it? We can't. Because it's not alive, no mortal weapon can kill it. Surely there must be something. Nothing can stop it until it has achieved what it came for. And what's that? Revenge. And Camelot? What does that mean for Sir Pelinor? I'm afraid it doesn't look good. <laughs> Maybe you were wrong. I hope so. <laughs> I'm sure of it. I saw it too. I, Arthur Pendragon, challenge you. So be it. Single combat. Noon. Tomorrow. Challenge. No. The knight's code must be upheld. That's what you told me. This is different. Once a challenge has been laid down, it cannot you be You are received. crown prince. There cannot be one rule for me and one for all the rest. I forbid you to fight. You want me to prove that I'm worthy of the throne. I cannot do that by being a coward. No, Arthur. This will be your death. I'm sorry you have so little faith in me, father. Arthur! You were right. I wish I wasn't. If Arthur fights that thing, he'll die. He is Camelot's strongest warrior. If anyone can defeat it, he can. You said yourself, 
No mortal weapon can kill it, which means we have to find a way to defeat the Wraith ourselves. How do you propose to do that? If no mortal sword will kill it, then I will. If mortal magic. Merlin is too dangerous. We don't have a choice. Good evening, sire. Guys. There is a matter of great urgency which I must discuss with you. Then spit it out. Tristan's tomb is empty. I believe he's being conjured from the dead. How is this possible? I believe he's a wraith. A spirit? He has come to take vengeance for Adrian's death. It was magic that killed her, not I. Nevertheless, it was you he blamed. You cannot allow Arthur to fight. No weapon forged by man can kill a wraith. It will stop at nothing till it has accomplished what it came for. Arthur cannot win. He will die. He will not listen to me. Then you must tell him who the knight is. No. You cannot hide the truth forever. I am the king. You will not tell me what I can and cannot do. That is your choice, sire. You tell him. Or let him go to his death. No one but you or I will ever know the secret of Arthur's birth. The boy is of age. He should know. Never. You made an oath. I warn you not to break it. Very well, sir. Merlin, you know that conversation we had about knocking? You have to pull out. Why is that? Because he'll kill you. Why does everybody think that? Because they're right. Just pull out. You're the crown prince. No one wants to see you die over some stupid challenge. I'm not a coward. I know that. I've stood there and have watched you overcome every fear you've ever faced. That's what's required of me. But you are more than that. You're not merely a warrior. You're a prince, a future king. You've proved your courage. But you must prove your wisdom. I'm not backing down. Please, Arthur, listen to me. This is no ordinary knight. Look at him. He doesn't eat. He doesn't sleep. He just stands there. Complete silence. Doesn't that tell you something? No one is unbeatable. If you fight him, you will die. I'm not listening to this. I'm trying to warn you, Arthur. I'm trying to warn you, Merlin! 